Hello guys. I've got uh, a video that I knew I was going to have to do at some point, and it is uh, my PowerBook G4 12 inch hard drive replacement. I've got my T6, which I had to buy off eBay. Uh, yeah, and my Philips. And in here is the hard drive. It completely failed on me now, guys. It won't put up at all. I've got a Tiger disc stuck in there as well. It's not uh, booting up the disc. It's, it's just not uh, going my way at the moment. This power book has been a real, real nightmare. But there's a the drive. It's a pretty cheap one. Um, 30 gig. Uh, not much. I was going to put a Scorpio Blue in here, but... I just don't have the money at the moment, and I'm saving up for other stuff, so I just skimmed out there. I've got I fix it up on my PC over here because I don't have a clue what to do. So I'll just do the first simple steps, like removing all of that stuff, and uh, I'll be back with you later, guys. I've removed the battery, the uh, EMI finger cover, uh, the black screw that goes there, and the EMA finger. So now I've got to do the keyboard. I'll keep you updated. The keyboard is out. <sighs> this is the scary part though. Getting this other case off. Yikes. I just removed them three Phillips screws there. And look at this. This isn't even the hard part yet. Yeah, the amount of screws. It's ridiculous. I'm knowing myself, I'm going to get them mixed up at some point. But I'm on step 10. I'm on page 4 out of 8. So, testing times are ahead. Okay, so I got the two screws from there. Uh, there's none on the hing uh, front side. Two from there. Two from there. And the two from there. Now, look what i got to do. This is the bit I've been scared of. And then, you got to do all the connectors. It's not going to be fun. I wish I could record this, but it's going to be look very, very awful. If, because I'm going to mess up. I'm going to have to uh, correct myself. So, um, I'll just keep you updated again. Okay, guys. Uh, all the screws are off there. Now I've got to un uh, plug these cables. I do that with a screwdriver because I don't want to get wires popping out. And that's not good. But so far so good. He says. See you later. This is the moment of truth. I don't want you to miss this bit. This is uh I'm opening up the um pulling off the upper case now, so it says go along the side with a spudger, I don't have a spudger. It doesn't look too hard, so I'll just do it with my uh, fingers. Hang on, I'm just putting my hoodie on. There we go. Whoa. There we go, it's off. It's off. Awesome. That's the upper case. I'll put that there. And here are the components. It's never been opened before by the looks of it. There's the fan. Heatsink. A hard drive. The culprit. It's an Apple branded hard drive, so that's never been replaced before. I guess it just came to the end of its life. There's the combo drive slot in combo drive. Get an Apple brandage. This is this has never been opened, you can tell. All the tape's still on it. Really, really awesome. Um yeah. See you in a minute. Just pulled the ribbon cable off the hard drive and uh how it comes. Oh man, this thing has been so much trouble. 
Fujitsu. Apple branded. Let's unscrew this and uh, put it on the other one. And let's put this in. See you later. The hard drive is in. The hard drive is in. I've replaced the bracket. Um, and changed the ribbon cable over. Here's the old one. Now to reassemble it. And knowing my luck, it probably won't work. But hey, it's worth a shot. See you later. Making excellent progress, guys. Uh, we've got. Oops. Upper case is back on. All the screws are in. All the power track pads and uh, mic cables are all plugged in. And uh, now. Um, there's a few more screws to go in now, like the EMI and the, uh, just the battery, you think. So that's all good. And uh, then we'll try and get Leopard on this thing. See you later. Look what I've got. Spun up the disc straight away, the hard drive. And um, it's very, very quiet, which is always a bonus. And um, your little finder icon with the question mark popped up. Then it um, booted from the disc. So I'm just going to install Tiger on this and for now and uh, get up and running and I'll be back later. Bye bye guys, this is so awesome. Just went into disk utility and it's recognised the hard drive which is so awesome. It's probably, uh, does it say what, um, yeah there we go, it's on, it's, it's on uh, Windows. Partition, so I'm going to partition it and install Tiger on this. This is so awesome, guys. You do not know how happy I am. You do not know how much. Well, you probably do actually if you've watched my two other PowerBook G4 Saga videos. Um, how much hassle this has been, and uh, for it to actually be working is just so so awesome. See you later. Just just partitioned the uh, uh, restored the hard drive even. See so Mac OS 10. Uh, journaled and we're going to install Tiger. <sighs> so happy. So happy. We may be using you later, Emac. I don't know whether to keep Tiger on this or not. Because Leopard, I have to say, does run pretty slow on the Emac. And Tiger is so fast. So. I might just keep Tiger on it. I don't know. We'll see. See what mood I'm in after I uh, do all the updates on this. I'll keep you updated. Three percent. Oh, I don't want to uh, check the disk. That's boring. <laughs> see you later. We are installing base system part one. Time remaining about nine minutes. Super fast. Awesome. Installing essentials, whatever that means. 80% uh, cleared, pretty much. About six minutes remaining. I've been up here for a while now. I'm gonna go and get some lunch. I am starving. See you later. My lunch is still in the microwave, and I just popped up here to see the installer finish. Less than a minute. see how fast this boots up because you may have uh, realized in the other two videos when it did boot up it was ridiculously slow i hope that's the, uh just that was just the heart there we go it's finished succeeded awesome yeah uh i'm hoping it was a hard drive that was uh making it very slow that's what i'm guessing but you never know Close the curtain, you might be able to see a little bit better. Oh, 
and this is an initial boot up because you've got to put all your information in and stuff so I guess that'll uh, put the time up a little bit as well I'm not too sure boot up time doesn't really bother me it bothers me more on a laptop than on a desktop though because you just want to open it up, turn it on, and it to be as fast as possible. There we go. We've got uh, and th this is first boot, so it's going to be slower. Have to cut there. Um, ran out of space on the camera but hopefully we can get an intro video We've got this, the beach ball in the top corner hopefully Let's shut the other curtain for full effect <laughs> come on please play it yes Aquas 10.4 Tiger getting started. Awesome. I'll put all of this information in and um, I'll meet you back at the desktop. This is awesome. See you later. And we're booting F onto the desktop. Here it is. Tiger. Gorgeous. Just spun the install disk up. About this Mac, 10.4, 867 megahertz G4, 640 megs of RAM, and the hard drive, Macintosh HD, get rid of that, uh, 30 gig. That's all I need for Tiger, I'm just going to be uh, keeping documents and uh, stuff like that on here. So, this has been my video, I'm going to st install all of the updates now. And um, I think I'm going to keep Tiger for a while at least. Uh, so, yeah, that draws my PowerBook G4 saga to a close. Open my curtains. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and the other two. If you haven't seen them yet, uh, go watch them out. Watch them out. <laughs> uh, go check them out. And uh, I now have what I paid for, a fully functioning... PowerBook G4. Bye-bye.